Hello guys, so I'm back here with another video today. As promised, I told y'all that I would upload again Friday. So my upload days will be Monday and Friday. So I won't burn myself out. But that's enough of that. Um, Another thing I want to tell you, I came up with the name for y'all, but let me know if y'all like this or not. It's called GG's for my subscribers. And where GG's came from is Classic Girl Graphics. So girl and graphics it start with a g and a g so i just put ggs so that's the only thing I, I could come up with for now but yeah let's go go ahead and get into the video so i'm coming back with another flyer tutorial and it's for um i'm going to create something for file sisters file and yeah i want just i just want to help y'all with some file content so yeah let's just jump right into it so what i want to do here i want to go ahead and pick my background I'm gonna go to elements and just type in file background and just pick a background that i like which will be right here So let's go ahead and scratch that out. And I had someone who asked me in my comments below, but I'll make sure that I post it. They asked me a question about how can you find the transparent gradient because they didn't see it. So let me go ahead and show you real quick. So how you will find that transparent gradient, the one that you could change the color to. All thing you gotta do is just type in transparent gradient right there. Just type in transparent gradient and you scroll down and you click on that till one. But this one it comes with the pro account, Canva Pro. So if you don't have the Canva Pro, then you wouldn't be able to use it. But that's the one that I know for sure changes colors to anything that you want it to be. Or you could just keep scrolling until you find something that you would like. So yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead and continue. I thought I got my Polaroids right here. Do 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 do. Scoop that up. Got to make sure that they all big enough. Okay, so we have that. And the next thing I want to do is go down to my frames with my grids and I'm gonna click on this one I'm gonna bring it to the front so I can resize it so however I need it to be okay like that like this and once I get this one sized up then I can just copy it paste copy and paste once I get it lined up how I need it to be so yeah and y'all we have made it to up 1k followers i about to say a thousand but it's still the same but yes we have made it to 1000 followers i just have to get my watch time up and i'll be good to go so yeah mm -mm -mm. let me paste that here yep copy paste okay so we have that make sure everything lined up correctly it's just like i just have to have it lined up correctly if not i will not move on let's go to this one okay so we have that have all of them lined up okay so the next thing I want to do here I'm going to put October bookings <laughs> so if I put in October bookings do you know what what um what type of business this may be for hmm so I was going to put because it could be like anything that like any type of business that like basically have apartments where you could make apartments but i'm not gonna tell y'all but y'all have to keep watching to find out 
So I'll just put October. <coughs> and I'm going to change this to the color orange. So let me go to my color. And I don't think I wanted that color to be as that. So I'm going to change it up just a little. Just have to keep playing around with it and get it to how you want it. So let me go back to my color picker. I think that right there should be good enough. So what I want to do is go to the effects and my shadow. I want it in the color black. I want the transparency all the way up like this. Think that H will be good enough. Do it like that. I want to add like a little blur to it like that. Okay, so we have that. And the next thing I want to do is add another text. Close that out. Right here, I'm just going to type in booking. Oh, I don't know why it don't be wanting to type for me. But just type in bookings. I'm going to also change the font on this one. Let me tilt it. Just a tad bit. I want to change my font. Alright. So I like that font. And let me see how bigger I want it. I'm going to change this to the color black. And if you make a flyer, I'll get to the top. If you make a flyer, you don't have to make it the same exact way that I do mine, but you can get some kind of inspiration from it and go from there. But I honestly wouldn't want y'all to copy the exact kind of flyer that I'm doing. I would say switch it up and make it your own if possible. So yeah, just switch it up. Make it your own, switch out the maybe colors, the fonts, and so on, like that. But I am here to teach. So let me do this. And let me know if y'all guess what's right in the comments down below of what y'all think it is, well, like what kind of business it is for this bookings, October bookings. Just let me know. I think I'm gonna keep this to the color version. Um, and I'm going to add another text in there that's basically going to say, um, it's going to say 10, hold on, 10, dollars $10 off for the month. I'm just put $10 off for October. So we have that. $10 off for the month of October. I think I'm going to change this to the color orange, like the box inside, and change this. You can keep it white, but let's see how it looks with the color black. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it black because it, it basically. Um, it bla uh, basically blend in well together with everything else that's going on in the background. So I have my phone here. I'm going to add that. Add that. Close that out so I can have it all on the page already. And let me scoop you up here. I don't want it to be. Then I'm going to add my Instagram logo right here and if y'all have any questions just please leave them in the comment section and I will reply back well at least I try to respond back to everyone um I think I'm going to change this to the color all of them to the color black mm -hmm. Yep, and I'm also going to, I think I'm going to bring these just a little bit closer, like that. 
So I'm going to add another text. This is just going to be a phone number, as you can see. Just going to make it a phone number. And again, it's not a real phone number, just like the rest of them in my video. It's not. So we have this right there. Uh, there we go. Add another one. Of course, I'm not going to keep it as no phone number. I'm going to change it up in a while. I'm not going to. Let me delete this. This one is just basically going to say at social media. And I'm going to copy and paste that also. So, yeah. And there we have it. And if have y'all guessed anything yet about what kind of business it is? So, if you guess a nail business, you are correct. So, let me go and find my uploads. And all I did was go to Pinterest and type in nail, I meant fall nails. I don't know why I didn't add it. Why did I do that? But well, anyways, we about to just go ahead and just add them like that. See how easy that is? Let me go back to my uploads and add that other one. Did I add this one? Nope. See? And see how easy and fast that was? So yeah. And that's the flyer. And it's to me, it's what well, to me, this could be so simple and easy. You don't have to make it hard at all. But that's the end of this video and i hope y'all enjoy this video i hope y'all learned something from it and if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments below